Hey everyone, so we have another Choro Q to look into. This is a, a Nissan Caravan or a Datsun Irvan. Uh, it's a 1965 plus second generation. I guess there's a body code E20 or an E21 or an E22. And these vans were out between 1973 and 1980. They had different uh, seating configurations, three, five, seven, up to 10 passengers because obviously you, know, you can have multiple rows of seats here. This is a Z03, so Choro Q0 number three. So this is dating back quite a ways. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't say the year of copyright on the box. I think it'll probably say on the bottom of the model. But uh, this is actually pretty good packaging. This is like recycled paper. It's not coated, so it's pretty good. All right, it's not oversized. Interesting. It's like taped down as a blister onto this cardboard. Right. So what else about this van here? It was never available with power steering. It seems a little odd. Pretty big vehicle if it holds 10 people and yet no power steering. And then uh, Wikipedia tells me that the gear shifter was 80 centimeters or 2.6 feet long. So that seemed very clumsy to shift. And uh, what else? 1.5 to 2 liter engines, at least gas engines, and then a 2.2 liter diesel engine. And that's what I learned about this van. I just got it obviously because it looks cool. Uh, well, I don't know if you consider these cartoon cars cool, but I like them. I think it looks pretty funny. Okay, but the real van actually does look cool. I like that. That's really retro. It reminds me of like 70s sci-fi spaceships, like Star Trek Enterprise stuff. Alright. So, I think uh, Choro Q did a good job here. You know, tail lights and all that stuff. It's close enough. And then here, I did actually find one that has this domed rear. And actually, Choro Q has an orange one with flames on it. So I'm quite positive that Choro Q actually copied this orange one for the orange variation of this. And the wheels here are somewhat similar to those wheels there. I might have to come back and do a 3D wheel project. I like this van enough that I actually want these wheels on this thing, but that'll, that'll come another day. All right, let's see what we have here on this model. Focus. So this is just a plain green. It's not a metallic or anything like that. I, I kind of have a suspicion this is actually molded in this green color. Yeah, because if you look at the back side, it is the same green. But the, the windows are cool. I mean, they're highly smoked. You can see a little bit of the wheel well there. But for most views, it just looks black. And the reason why is because there's a spring motor in this thing. You know, and they're trying to hide that. So we have some silver on the door handles here. They look pretty good. And then, you know, as I mentioned, those wheels are pretty funky. This is the, this is the first Choroku I've seen with this type of wheel style. It's interesting. This giant center cap is because I think the axle is actually running here, but they say they still made made it like a deep dish wheel by moving the center cap so you know far out, and it needs to have that so it can actually grab the uh, the metal axle. So it's an interesting design. What the heck? Look at that. Those are like side pipes. Really tiny comical side pipes. That's cool. I didn't see that in the packaging. All right, and then obviously there's a chrome trim bisecting the body and it's wrapping around the whole vehicle which is really cool here's the uh, you know shape of the badge unfortunately it's not printed red in the middle but look at these tiny black slots here for a little vents or something on I guess maybe they go to the cabin there's a pretty good grill texture the headlights are just painted silver but they're painted very nice I mean they look like circles no overrun turn signals are painted just as well Blank license plate, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at the little chin spoiler. And then, I don't know if that's a separate piece, but there's like a body seam there. The side pretty much looks the same. Invented detail behind that door. Oh, well, I guess the fuel filler is on this side of the car, or the van. The taillights are actually ribbed. The silver is raised above, you know. You can hear it. So the taillights are printed really nice. And then it just says Cherokee Zero, so they don't write Z03, this third one. Uh, let's see on the bottom here. 
they do say 03 here, so that's good. And then this is the production date. Maybe it's the copyright date. Boy, my screen's so small, I have a hard time reading that. So 2011, the eighth month of 2011. So it's actually not as old as I thought it was going to be. Alright. So I guess maybe Choroku Zero started around the year 2011. Okay. So yeah, very cool. <laughs> it's, it's really neat. Uh, I don't actually have this in 164 scale. Maybe TLD has done it. I'm not sure. If it, you guys know, please let me know. But I, I do like this van. If, if you know, I'm sure TLV will do it sooner or later if they haven't, and then I, I'll get that model for sure. But all right, let's uh, compare it to a couple other vans. So let's start with the full scale stuff. So for TLV, I do have this Town Ace, which is a smaller van, and then a, a classic High Ace, which is obviously a bigger van. Those would be the closest things I have in 164 to uh, this sort of thing. If I had to guess, you know, in the real world, maybe this caravan is competing with the, the high ace, but uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so then let's get rid of these guys and put some cartoon vehicles up here. So the mystery machine, it's also a classic, right? In cartoon form at least. I have this two dollar, well at least for me it was two dollars, a Kinsfun Volkswagen police van. And then a modern version would be a High Ace made by Tiny Q. So, they're all pretty comical looking I think, and uh, I like them. Let's go to the top view. They should all have, well, I guess the mystery machine's a little bit longer than the other ones, but they're all in the same ballpark. They all look like they belong in the same cartoon. Okay, let's get this guy off, let it spin on its own. Got these two little Minions toys. I don't know who made them, but uh, they look pretty good. So after a few days I thought about just printing my own wheels that look like those photographs. It turns out these wheels are called Cheviot Turbo Wheels. Cheviot, I'm not sure, that's, but it's, that's what the internet tells me. But I want to show you the inside of this thing. It's a little different than what I've seen before. This is all normal, the motor trapping the front axle. But uh, the grill is a separate piece. That I've never seen before. So that's how they get such a good break, you know, between the color. It's literally a separate piece, right? Okay, so I have a 3D printed motor housing. I'm just going to pop back in place here. Then, it's got two pins to locate that grill. Well, actually, I think I should put the grill into the body first. That yeah, comes in from the outside, apparently. Alright, so that's what's happening there. And then look at that, there's a big post here. Uh, I guess to probably keep that motor from snapping up or something? I, I don't know, it's weird. It seems like a waste of plastic if the motor's trapped by this tooth here. But, well, maybe it's for child safety or something. And then there seems to be three rivets or something holding that canopy on. Um, so it's a really dark, dark canopy again with the smoked plastic. Alrighty, now let me get this thing back here. Alright. So I use a Uhu Patafix Pro to just stick these things on. Putty's really easy because you can you can have the, the thing steer if you want. Let's make this one steer a little bit. And then also set camber for the custom JDM style. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. Well, squeeze that in a little bit more so I get a little camber there. Not really pretty, but pretty from the bottom, but whatever. From the top, you never know. 
Okay, so there's some pictures again with these uh, Cheviot, Cheviot uh, turbo wheels. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, I think the van looks a lot cooler now, so happy to have it. Okay, thanks for watching again.